Welcome, today we will present our paper, Face Off, a video to video face swapping system. Do you remember this famous scene from the movie The Social Network directed by David Fincher? And did you know the twin brothers are actually played by a single actor, Army Hammer? What you see in this scene is pure CGI. Surprised yet? At the time of the movie shoot, in all of the scenes with the twin brothers, one of the brothers was always a body double. Later, Army Hammer, the actor, recorded the dialogues for the brother, played by the double, in front of a green screen. The scenes are then later edited in post-production where the face and the expressions of the main actor are superimposed on the face of the body double. Please note that here, the pose and the background of the original video is still retained. Such techniques are widely adopted in movies and add to the director's creativity. This leads to extensive use and reliance on body doubles followed by a heavy post-production editing. Body doubles are also used beyond such scenes. For instance, Paul Walker was played by his brothers, Cody and Caleb Walker, in Fast and Furious after his death. Doubles also take the place of the actors during stunt scenes. However, the technologies needed for replacing the double's face with the actor's face and expressions are extremely expensive and time-consuming. They take up to millions of dollars and months to complete. One can consider computer vision face-swapping techniques as an approach to automate this task. Face swapping aims to swap the identity from a source face video to a target face video such that all the other characteristics of the target video is preserved. However, one important requirement in actor double face swapping is the transfer of expressions from the source video of the actor to the target video of the double. Thus, one cannot naively use face swapping for the task as it does not aim the swap through expressions of the source face video. To tackle such tasks, we introduce video-to-video face-swapping aka V2V face-swapping, a novel task of face-swapping. Along with the source identity, V2V face-swapping aims to swap the source expressions. At the same time, it aims to retain the rest of the target characteristics like the target pose and background. V2V face-swapping is a challenging task as it needs a technique to combine two different motions, the foreground expression motion and the background target motion. The output should be spatially and temporally coherent with a uniform pose, identity, and motion. At the same time, we want to exactly preserve the input characteristics of expressions, identity, background, and pose. To tackle this, we propose FaceOff, a video-to-video -video face swapping system. FaceOff takes two videos as input. The background and pose of the target and the foreground of the source face video. The foreground poses are first heuristically aligned with the background poses using the face landmarks of the target face. Faceoff then takes both of these videos and inputs and generates a coherent and meaningful output meeting all the required constraints. Faceoff first concatenates the source foreground and target background channel-wise in each corresponding frame. This results in a single video which is then encoded by our encoder into a top and a bottom hierarchy. Until this point, the encoder operates frame-wise, encoding each frame individually. Next, the frame-wise encoding is passed through temporal modules at each hierarchy. The temporal modules are layers of non-linear 3D convolution operations. The temporal modules allows the network to develop connections between the frames and play an essential role in generating temporally coherent output. The rest of the network operates in a frame-wise manner. We adopt the standard VQVAE2 quantization and decoding block. We use a hard distance loss like Euclidean distance to compute the loss between ground truth and the output in a self-supervised setting. In this setting, we use a single video to generate the source and the target. The target is the background and the pose extracted from the video. The source is generated by first extracting the foreground of the video and then adding random errors like rotation, translation, distortion, random color jitters, and translation. Each of these errors plays an important role in generating a spatially and coherent inference. The inputs are then passed through FaceOff. FaceOff is expected to fix these random errors and generate back the original correct video. Please note that the self-supervised output is not perfect. This is because, we try to train the model with harder errors, like drastic rotation or color transform, that the model does not see at inference. This way, at the time of inference, the model handles a relatively simpler case and generates better outputs. 
Now, we look at some outputs. Please note that all the face swapped outputs we will see are all on identities unseen at the time of training. In this example, we swap faces with drastic differences in facial structure and expressions. In this example again, the source and target have very different facial structures and head motions. Even though the head poses have changed, Faceoff is able to generate a coherent identity and pose in the output. Even here, the head motions are very different. The source pose is nodding, whereas the target pose is a single head drop. The output is a coherent pose and identity. Please also note the change in the foreground and background color. Faceoff changes the light intensity of the foreground to match the background. Now we show comparisons with the state-of-the-art face swapping models. We do not compare with Deepfake and Deepface Labs as they take up to 24 hours for a single face swap. As can be seen, Faceoff swaps the identity better than the other two models. It also perfectly swaps the source expressions. Whereas, the other models do not swap any expressions, target or source, exactly. The same can be observed here, even though the source and target facial structure differ significantly, Faceoff is able to retain the target facial structure and pose well. The expressions and identity from the source is also nicely blended with the target pose. FS Gain and Motion Coseg do not swap the identity fully and also change the target facial structure significantly. We show one more example with Crossgender. Despite the drastic change in the overall face structure, Faceoff successfully swaps both the identity and the source expressions in a coherent manner. Unlike Faceoff, the existing models fail to fully swap the identity and have unnatural eye movements. Next, we show some ablations on our architecture. We first show the effect of the temporal module. The temporal module plays an important role in achieving temporally coherent outputs. Faceoff learns to blend two motions. However, without a temporal connection between the frames, Faceoff cannot blend in a temporally consistent manner. We show this effect here. The videos have significant wobbles and the faces squish and extend across the video. There is also a vibrating effect. Here we show the effect of removing the color error in self-supervised training. Although the model learns to align the foreground and background, the color in the output does not blend well. For this reason, we also see some level of temporal jitters. The model does not understand a perfect blend and gets stuck at a suboptimal alignment. Finally, we show some results on V2V face swapping for the same identity. In many cases such as in movies, one might want to edit the expressions and lip movements of a previously recorded video with new expressions and lip movements. Here, we show such instances. As can be seen, the identity is perfectly preserved along with the pose and background. Only expressions such as the eye and lip movements are swapped from the source. We show another instance here. Please note the color difference in source and target. Faceoff correctly blends them into a uniform color and pose and generates a coherent output. We show some more examples here. As can be seen, in all of the cases, Faceoff successfully preserves the desired properties, pose, background, identity, and expressions. The output has a uniform pose, identity, and temporally coherent motion. V2V face swapping is an important task with many real-life use cases. Unlike face swapping task that only aims to swap an identity, V2V face swapping swaps the expressions along with the identity. V2V face swapping is a challenging video to video task as unlike face swapping, which only aims to swap an identity component, V2V face swapping swaps the expression motion video of the source with the background and pose motion video of the target. We propose Faceoff, a video to video face swapping system. Faceoff is trained in a completely self supervised manner and robustly tackles the challenges of motion to motion swapping. Faceoff is a temporal autoencoding network that works on any unseen identity directly at inference. The swap takes just one forward pass taking less than a second to complete. Thank you for taking the time and listening to us. We hope to encourage research in the direction of V2V face swapping as it is an important area that needs to be solved.